biohacker health coach Joe Baines and I've been uh, keto for about seven to ten years and one of the questions I keep getting is well, why do you follow the ketogenic diet? I follow the ketogenic diet because I want to be healthy. I want to have a higher uh, quality of life. I don't want to have brain fog. I follow it because it makes me feel good. It makes my body feel good. Uh, it gives me energy all day. I need less sleep. Uh, everything just works better when I'm on keto. And I have tried to come out of keto a couple of times where I've, um, I've tried, I have, where I've failed and I'm maybe eating cake or, or something or a pizza piece or something like that. And I suffer, I suffer. It takes me a couple of days to recover from that. And I, I just want, yeah, for me, health is really important. And uh, being as healthy as possible is one of the most important things for me because I lost my health um, five, six years ago, six, seven, I can't remember now. Yeah, years ago, I lost my health. I lost it completely. Like uh, my zero health barometer went down to completely down to zero. I was in, I was in hell. And I spent, it took me two years to come out of hell. Um, I suffered massively. It was a lot of hard work. To bring myself back into full health, uh, it was a lot of work. It was painful. It was hard work. It was, it was, it was a nightmare. It was hell on earth. And I never want to go back there. And the reason I promote health, the reason I promote keto, because one, I never want to get there again. I never want to go there. I never want to end up in that place again. And I don't want that for you either. So I, I'm pushing all this keto stuff out because keto, believe it or not, is our natural diet. Yeah. This sad standard American diet, the Western diet that we eat now, is less than 100 years old. Less, literally 100, less than 100 years old. And our bodies are not adapted for this. It gives us a lot of problems. And those problems are called metabolic disorders, brain fog, all of these things, diabetes, high blood pressure, Alzheimer's, cancer, heart disease, PCOS, old menopause, um, women going through all that kind of stuff. All of those, they're all metabolic disorders. And so if you want to get rid of um, your health problems, all of these, keto is, is how we're supposed to eat, is how we've spent eating for millions of years, how our hunter-gatherer ancestors ate. So keto is, is our natural diet, is the way we're supposed to eat. Is the way our bodies are more, most, most efficient at working and the way our bodies have adapted the most. And so if you want to live the, your best life, if you want to have the highest amount of health, if you want to have the highest month, amount of uh, the quality of your life, keto. Keto is it. I know there's other ones, carnivore, which is also amazing, okay? And paleo, which is also great as well. But for me... Keto, keto is what, boom, sets, sets the bar for me. And I, I've been keto, yeah, for like uh, seven to 10 years, and I will be keto for the rest of my life. Uh, because I don't, I don't want to have a shit life. I want to have a high quality of it. Like when you, it's like uh, keto and uh, the standard Western diet. It's like, you know, when you li listen to a radio and you listen to it on a cheap, flimsy radio with a you know, crappy radio, and it's got crackly and all that kind of stuff. But from a really high quality, with really high quality speakers, all the parts are very high quality. And you listen to that music on there, the difference is huge, right? And you like, and then once once you start listening to high quality music on a high quality system, like a Bose system or whatever, and then you have to go back to listening to, you know, listening to on the, on the crappy radio, uh, on a cheap, flimsy radio. The quality is so big, you, it's really hard now to listen to it on the crappy radio because you're now used to the much higher quality. And it's the same with uh, when you go keto. You, the, your health improves so much. You're living at such a high level of health that then if you eat the standard Western diet, um, you notice a difference. There's a massive difference. And because you've never been to that high level of health, you don't know, right? I didn't. I, I lived most of my life 
in you know li you know listening to the ra crappy radio like comparing keto to uh the standard american diet or the standard western diet it's like comparing a black and white tv to the latest oled you know 32 million color flat screen tv right imagine you know watching your favorite movie on a black and white tv one of those old black and white tvs where you know the picture flickers and all kinds of stuff um to listening to watching your favorite movie on on uh, on a you know 52 inch screen oled you know 50 billion colors or whatever it is you know 120 megahertz for a refresh rate all that kind of stuff but listening it but watching it on the on the best quality tvs we have now to what we had do you know like the difference is dramatic and that's the difference between keto and the standard Western diet or the sad diet, the standard American diet. That's why I'm keto. All right, enjoy.